<laughs> What's your reaction to Rajan being injured? Things happen. Um, you know, we, we're not uh, invincible to anything, you know. And normal accidents happen to, to us too, so uh, we just got to adjust and understand that he's going to be out for a minute. We just got to we got to keep working. Tremendous. It's been a, it's been a great summer for me. Um, working out every day at Ohio State with uh, Jake Diebler. Uh, you know, just I feel great. Best I ever felt. And, um, hopefully that that carries on to, throughout the season. Huh? Uh, you know, everybody says they want to be somewhere, but it's always a couple weeks late. And, uh, you know, I got the whole preseason, the whole training camp to, to get where I need to be um, in order to play uh, the extended minutes that that I, I plan for myself to get. So, just got to keep working. Do you feel like a leader on this team? Leader? Uh, you know, at times I do. At times I do. You know, you got you to gotta, just got to understand that there's always a time and place for everything. As far as a leader, and you just gotta, you just gotta keep playing. Did you lose weight over the summer? Uh, that's y'all's call, not my call. Um, I, I don't think I touched the scale since I've been uh, out of season, so only, only time will tell. Sooner or later, I'll weigh myself. Were you the one who lost weight? Huh? Did you feel like you lost weight? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Working out, um, doing certain things. I'm not, I'm not as tired. Uh, you still get tired out there on the basketball court. You know, everybody says when you work on conditioning, they expect you to be like this unbelievable you know, Lance Armstrong type guy. But, you know, honestly, there's times where everybody, even the best athletes, get tired. So, just got to keep working. But you, but you consider yourself to be in the best shape of your life? Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think my shape was is based off of health as well. Uh, going into my... Uh, rookie year, I was I was in pretty good shape, but I wasn't healthy. And uh, now that I have two things back, like two things together, combining those the health and conditioning. I think that's that's going to be tremendous for this year for me. So what can we expect out of you? Maybe you weren't able to do in the past. Now you're in this condition. I don't know. I don't know. I can't I can't guarantee anything. That's, that's just just digging myself a hole. It's just more like only time will tell. Um, I mean, I think y'all have to realize I had a, a dislocation in my in my right index finger, and uh, that that kind of hurt uh, my jump shot tremendously due to my my follow through. I was following through with my middle finger instead of my index finger, which I normally do. And uh, I mean, now with that with that being healthy, um, I think I'll, I'll be okay. Do you feel like you're the healthiest? Yeah, yeah, no no injuries, no nothing. Um, just ready to play. Are you more comfortable with the four? I really don't put a position on myself. Um, you know, whatever, whatever the team needs for me to do for us to win, and that's what I'm going to do. Who's the best former Buckeye on the team? Best former Buckeye? You have to give it to Evan just because he, he won National Player of the Year. But uh, I also went further than him in the tournament. And uh, <laughs> uh, he did three, I did two. Just put it that way. What does he bring to this team? He did, huh? Uh, what does Evan bring to this team? Um, he brings a multi, multi-dimensional type of player. You know, honestly, he's a he's a great basketball player. Um, he can he can do a lot of things. He can play the point, play two, play three. Um, and, and I think in the NBA, you gotta have multiple guys that play uh, multiple positions in order in order for a team to win. And I think Evan brings that. Did Danny answer for a scouting report or anything? Nah, you, you pretty much know the scouting report on Evan. Uh, everybody does. I mean, going through the NBA, you go one year through, through the NBA and play a lot of minutes. Uh, I think uh, from the owners down, everybody knows your scouting report and what type of player you are. Nice to have a guy like Tyler Zeller in the middle now, maybe give you a little bit more room to maybe a smaller guy so you can use your quickness to get around some of the bigs. Uh, I mean, I think it's tremendous to add Tyler, add another footer to the uh, to our big core. Um, I know I know he's fitting in right now with with the open gyms we've been having, fitting in pretty well. 
And uh, like I said, our, our main focus is to win, you know, whether it's, it's me playing the four, me playing the five, it doesn't matter. My, my main focus to win last year was 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 a nightmare for, for me. I know a lot of these guys as competitors, it was, it was a nightmare for them as well. And, and we just want to win. Do you feel like for you personally, though, having him there may help you do some some things that you do well? Uh, you really you really can't say that, you know. We, we, we don't know the offense. We don't know what type of defense we're going to play. We don't we don't know anything right now. So, uh, you know, only time will tell. Are you a rebounder that leads the score, or would you consider yourself both a scorer and a rebounder? Uh, I consider myself a rebounder first. I think that I think that's the biggest thing with me. Uh, it's something that's never going to go away. Uh, even some of my worst games, uh, you, you'll see I have maybe two points and 11 rebounds. I mean, if, I, if I'm not scoring, I can always rebound. Going back to the expectations, Rondo earlier today said he doesn't see this as a championship team. How do you respond to that? Uh, I mean, he's been on championship ty uh, type of teams, and, and honestly, maybe that, that's just him uh, lighting the fire under us, and uh, you just got to keep going. You just got to keep going and try to get better every day. Jerry, the first year, the second year, I mean, you look here, you, you, you like entered the game with three fouls, and now last year you made that adjustment. How do you make that adjustment now to, to avoid picking up more fouls? Uh, I think it's just... I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. Um, you know, they're, they're out there for a reason uh, to control the game, to make sure nobody's doing nothing dirty, and uh, you just gotta adjust to them. And I think that's what I've been doing. I've, I adjusted them from them um, from year one to year two, and year two to year three. I just gotta make more adjustments. That's about it. That's it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Out of here.